SpaceX just launched the first batch of Starlink V2 satellites into space. Elon Musk has revealed that this new launch will help Starlink expand internet coverage all over the globe. Let's take a closer look. SpaceX is a private aerospace company founded by entrepreneur Elon Musk in 2002. It is headquartered in Hawthorne, California, and is focused on developing and manufacturing advanced rockets and spacecraft for a variety of missions, including crewed missions to the International Space Station and future missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. SpaceX was founded with the goal of reducing space transportation costs and enabling the colonization of Mars. The company has made significant progress towards these goals and established itself as a leader in the commercial space industry. One of SpaceX's most notable achievements has been its successful development and operation of the Falcon 1, Falcon 9, and Falcon Heavy rockets, which have been used to launch a variety of payloads into orbit, including satellites, cargo to the ISS, and even astronauts. In addition to its rocket development and launch services, SpaceX is also working on the development of its Starship spacecraft, which is being designed as a fully reusable launch vehicle capable of carrying both crew and cargo to a variety of destinations in space. The Starship will be launched on top of the Super Heavy rocket, which is currently in development. Elon Musk is the founder and CEO of SpaceX, as well as the CEO of Tesla Inc., a company that designs and manufactures electric vehicles and renewable energy products. Musk is known for his ambitious vision and innovative approach to business and technology, and has made significant contributions to the fields of space exploration and sustainable energy. Before founding SpaceX, Musk co-founded PayPal, an online payment system, and has also been involved in several other ventures, including the Hyperloop, a high-speed transportation system that is being developed by another one of his companies, the Boring Company. Musk's vision for SpaceX and its role in the future of space travel has inspired many people around the world, and the company has gained a large and devoted following. Its successful launches and innovative approaches to space travel have made it a leader in the industry, and it has sparked a renewed interest in space exploration among the public. One of the main goals of SpaceX is to make space travel more affordable and accessible to a wider range of customers, including government agencies, commercial companies, and even private individuals. To achieve this, the company is focused on developing reusable rockets and spacecraft, which can be used multiple times and significantly reduce the cost of space launches. In addition to its focus on reusable technology, SpaceX is also working on developing advanced propulsion systems, such as its Raptor engines, which are designed to be more powerful and efficient than traditional rocket engines. These advances are expected to help reduce the cost of space travel even further and make it more practical for a wider range of missions. While SpaceX has made significant progress toward its goals and has achieved several notable milestones, the company still faces many challenges and uncertainties. The development and operation of rockets and spacecraft is an incredibly complex and risky endeavor, and there have been setbacks and failures along the way. Despite these challenges, SpaceX remains committed to its vision of advancing space exploration and enabling the colonization of other worlds. The company has a strong track record of overcoming obstacles and achieving success, and it is well positioned to continue making significant contributions to the field in the future. Elon Musk has played a key role in SpaceX's success, providing the vision and leadership that has helped the company achieve its goals. His unconventional approach to business and his willingness to take risks have helped make SpaceX a leader in the space industry and have made him a well-known and respected figure in the tech world. Following this success, Elon Musk has now turned his focus to his latest project, Starlink. Starlink is the name of a satellite network developed by the private spaceflight company SpaceX to provide low-cost internet to remote locations. A Starlink satellite has a lifespan of approximately five years, and SpaceX eventually hopes to have as many as 42,000 satellites in this so-called mega-constellation. The current version of each Starlink satellite weighs approximately 573 pounds. As of November 2022, there are 3,271 Starlink satellites in orbit, of which 3,236 are operational. After years of development within SpaceX, Starlink picked up the pace in 2021. Starlink now offers service in 37 countries worldwide, though the budding broadband provider still faces a backlog of prospective customers waiting to receive equipment and start service. 
That list of countries includes Ukraine, where Musk said in February that additional satellite internet terminals were en route following the Russian invasion. SpaceX's satellite internet proposal was announced in January 2015. Though it wasn't given a name at that time, CEO Elon Musk said that the company had filed documents with international regulators to place about 4,000 satellites in low Earth orbit. Musk's initial estimate of the number of satellites soon grew, as he hoped to capture a part of the estimated $1 trillion worldwide internet connectivity market to help achieve his Mars colonization vision. The U.S. Federal Communications Commission has granted SpaceX permission to fly 12,000 Starlink satellites, and the company has filed paperwork with an international regulator to lift up to 30,000 additional spacecraft. SpaceX launched its first two Starlink test craft, named 1010A and 1010B, in February 2018. The mission went smoothly. Based on initial data, the company asked regulators for its fleet to be allowed to operate at lower altitudes than originally planned, and the FCC agreed. Rather than sending internet signals through electric cables, which must be physically laid down to reach far-flung places, satellite internet works by beaming information through the vacuum of space, where it travels 47% faster than in the fiber-optic cable. Current satellite internet works using large spacecraft that orbit 22,236 miles above a particular spot on Earth. But, at that distance, there are generally significant time delays in sending and receiving data. By being closer to our planet and networking together, Starlink satellites are meant to carry large amounts of information rapidly to any point on Earth, even over the oceans and in extremely hard-to-reach places where fiber-optic cables would be expensive to lay down. The first 60 Starlink satellites launched on May 23, 2019 aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The satellites successfully reached their operational altitude of 340 miles. Within days of the first 60 satellite Starlink launch, Skywatcher spotted a linear pearl string of lights as the spacecraft whizzed overhead in the early morning. Web-based guides showed others how to track down the spectacular display. That brightness was a surprise to almost everyone, including both SpaceX and the astronomical community. Researchers began to panic and shared photos of satellite streaks in their data. They expressed particular concerns about future images from highly sensitive telescopes, such as the Vera Rubin Observatory, which will study the entire universe in exquisite detail and was expected to come online in 2022. Radio astronomers are also planning for interference from Starlink's radio-based antenna. SpaceX received additional backlash in September 2019 when the European Space Agency announced that it had directed its Aeolus satellite to undertake evasive maneuvers and avoid crashing into Starlink 44, one of the first 60 satellites in the mega constellation. The agency took action after learning from the U.S. military that the probability of a collision was 1 in 1,000, 10 times higher than ESA's threshold for conducting a collision avoidance maneuver. SpaceX plans to refresh the Starlink Mega Constellation every five years with newer technology. At the end of their service, the old satellites will be steered into Earth's atmosphere where they will burn up. That is certainly commendable when it comes to space debris prevention, however, there's another problem. The vast number of satellites that will be burning in the otherwise pristine upper layers of the atmosphere could alter the atmospheric chemistry and have unforeseen consequences for life on the planet. Meanwhile, satellite internet competitors, including Viasat, HughesNet, and Amazon's Project Kuiper, have also noticed Starlink's momentum, prompting regulatory jousting and attempts to slow Musk down. Most recently, DISH has taken issue with Starlink and its claims that 5G expansions in the 12 GHz band would interfere with its satellite signals. It's not all bad news, though. A service like Starlink will undoubtedly help in times of crisis, as evidenced by the war in Ukraine. With the right equipment, access to Starlink Internet can be found in remote locations within just a few minutes. In February 2022, at least 50 Starlink terminals were sent to the island nation of Tonga in the Pacific Ocean. The goal was to give its residents free internet access, especially in remote villages. 
Tonga needed the terminals after suffering a massive volcano eruption and tsunami in January. At the time, SpaceX said the terminals will allow for communications to flow in some of the regions with the worst effects due to the eruption. SpaceX has stated that it will work with organizations and space agencies to mitigate the impacts of its mega constellation, and the company has tried to assuage astronomers' concerns over Starlink's effect on the night sky and make the service more environmentally friendly in the coming years. Reports suggest that Starlink has just launched the second generation of its satellites into space earlier this month. A Falcon 9 rocket topped with 54 upgraded Starlink Internet satellites lit up the pre-dawn sky with a smooth launch from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. About eight minutes after liftoff, the Falcon 9 first stage returned to Earth with a landing on the SpaceX drone ship, a shortfall of gravitas in the Atlantic Ocean, where rough recovery weather threatened to delay the launch. The touchdown marked the first ever successful deployment of the new satellite. SpaceX's Gen 2 of Starlink is said to be more powerful than the 3,300 or so working in orbit right now, and it appears SpaceX needs the bandwidth boost. The broadband network is facing congestion woes, despite sending hundreds of first-generation Starlink satellites aloft this year. On December 1st, the Federal Communications Commission approved for SpaceX to deploy 7,500 Gen 2 satellites. That was just a partial approval, however, as SpaceX applied to the FCC for permission to send nearly 30,000 of these satellites to low Earth orbit. Besides being able to handle more traffic, Gen 2 satellites can beam service directly to smartphones. While this crop is going into space aboard a Falcon 9, SpaceX eventually plans to use its massive Starship rocket, which is in development and has been awaiting approval to fly to space for 18 months. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one, which talks about SpaceX's new Stage Zero upgrade. Do you think Starlink is a good idea? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.